Yo, what's up, you guys? I just wanted to give my commentary on this story about this this woman's son being attacked and beaten by a belt uh, by a man in the neighborhood because I guess the man thought the, the child was swearing, you know, cursing and stuff. And the man that uh, beat this boy... He was charged with disorderly conduct, and he was also charged with assault on a uh, kid, on a minor. And the boy was 15 years old. Uh, I don't know what happened, but everything was caught on uh, caught on a video, the home video, and everything, security camera home video so this is out of fair use this is for commentary purposes only and also informative purposes this is new word dude so yeah and i don't own this clip so yeah let's dive into it i hope uh this video doesn't get like uh demonetize or not like that but uh anyways i would do it anyways you know because i feel like this is this is a story that i want to talk about well back in the days i remember when your neighbors could actually whoop you you know and this was like in 91, 92, 93, 94, uh, around that area. And then in 97, that's when Hillary Clinton, sec- uh, Senator Hillary Clinton at the time, passed a, uh, a child abuse uh, law act that made it where, you know, if you whoop a child, then, you know, pretty much uh, you get in trouble. But back in the days, you know how these principals used to give us whoopings and stuff like that. Uh, But we would have to sign something saying, you know, like our parents would have to sign some saying they give permission and everything like that. Uh, but nowadays, you know, even your own parents can't whoop you. You know, because if a if a child say that you abuse them, uh, a parent will go to jail, even if. Even if they don't have no proof of it. So, yeah, the laws has changed. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to watch this video. It could be a little bit disturbing. So, I'm going to warn y'all about that. So, let's go into it. A Carroll County mother says that her 15-year-old son was attacked and beaten with a belt by a man who lives in their neighborhood. Caitlin Ross joins us now with more. Caitlin, home security footage. And uh, even if the child was cursing, even if the child was getting out of line, he still don't have no right to put his hands on a child that's not even his. You know, not even his old child, you know, like that. Because the way that they're making it seem like he really, like, beat him really bad and... I just don't understand people, you know, how they feel like they can just, like, do like they did back in the old days where they could, uh, you know, whoop you with a belt. Your neighbors could, when you get out of line, and teachers and principals could, but those days are over with, you know? So let's continue. Caught the whole thing on camera. I cannot imagine as a parent having to watch that. 
The footage is hard to watch, but Malik Sims and mom keep in mind, you too, this is on the news. Not only that they see so what you happened, can't demonetize but see how her son video. responded so to the violence. The, the video footage is grainy, but the audio is clear as Latika Sims says a 29 year old man attacked her 15 year old son. I was just panicked. Like, I was just like, in 2021, I cannot believe 29 year old man attacked her. 52-year-old son, oh, damn. Would think that it was okay to come outside with a belt. She says her son Malik was playing basketball with his cousins in Villa Rica when their next-door neighbor came outside. So he was playing basketball with his cousin, and then the next-door neighbor came outside, you know, and everything. I don't know exactly what this... 15 year old boy said to him or before you know he came up to him i don't know if they would be too loud and the 29 year old man didn't like it or or was was irritated i don't know what happened but uh all i know is this man was way out of line what he did to this boy and it just proved to show you that a lot of people um, just don't care you know and they think that they can just get away with everything just because they're a certain race or just because they got a little bit of more you know just because they think they got a little bit of money, I mean, sorry about my speech. Uh, and, but they can't. The reality of it is their, their days of getting away with certain things is over with, you know? So let's continue. See the video, he's running full speed at my son, and my son is caught off guard. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. Police say that man is Matt Martell. In a Matt police Martell. report, he says he was upset about the kids swearing. In a video, it appears Martell... He was upset about the kids swearing. Okay. What would you would have done, let's say, in your neighborhood or any time, it doesn't matter, like, let's say... Let's say if you've seen a teenager boy or a little boy or whatever swearing, what would you, you know, would have done? How would you handle the situation? Please be honest. Uh, what I would have done is I would have just like, you know, pretty much mind my own business and or talk to the parents about it. If it was a prop, you know, how simple as that. But uh, I don't know exactly if the board was swearing or not because I don't see nothing in the video that that indicates that. But he could be, he could not be. I don't know. But anyway, so let's continue. Oh, grabs the front of Malik's shirt before the pair go off wow. camera, and you hear a crash. And and see, keep in mind, his mom said that he can defend himself, but he was taught self discipline because if he would uh fight back and defending himself, he probably would have went to juvie or jail, you know, just for defending himself, you know. So, as a black kid, as a black man, you know, if you, you know, defend yourself, you know, you most likely would, you know, get in trouble too, most likely, you know. So, sometimes, you know, you got to take a butt whooping and just report it and and uh that's all you can do you know report it to the police report it to the authorities you know and stuff like that uh but however 
you do have a right to defend yourself, but I understand being black and then that other person that's that attacked him was white. You know, how the police, some police out there handle stuff with racial situations, you know, like like a white man attacking a black man. Uh, I understand how they, some of them police would think in handling the situation, but not all police are like that. You know, some police are are neutral about it or fair about it. So, yeah, that's the team. He hit my neck. He threw me up against the garage, and I hit my head. Yeah, and it's more and more stories. You know, it's even a story that uh, Wisconsin gas station pilot. I never heard of pilot before. It must be something in Wisconsin. Something about a man viciously executed at Wisconsin gas station. Police killed suspect two days ago. Wow. And then they also got a multiple agencies involved in high profile Rock Hill arrests. So yes, yeah, a lot of stuff going on in the world. And plus, you got these uh, Karen accuses accuses men of stealing uh, phone. So you got so much stuff going on in the world right now. You think stuff was going on back then, but shoot. It's a lot more going on nowadays than ever. Yeah, all these cans and all the other stuff. But anyways, tell me what y'all guys think. Get out. Uh, you know, would y'all would have handled the situation different or a lot better? Just let me know uh, right at the premiere, you know. It's kind of crazy that this boy, uh, you know, got attacked by this 29-year-old man. You know, you don't never put your hands on the child at all. You know, that's not cool at all. But anyways, uh, I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.